Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image back at you with some new photography information. I was checking out on DxO Mark, and uh, interestingly enough, I was just pulling up the camera comparisons. The D7000 beats the Canon 1D Mark IV by a significant margin on the DxO Mark uh, sensor evaluation. We've got the, the Canon one um, Canon EOS 1D Mark IV, the 1D Mark IV coming in at an overall score of 74 and the Canon D7 or the Nikon D7000 pardon me that's the Nikon D7000 coming in at an overall score of 80 so uh pretty interesting uh Canon 1DS Mark IV portrait depth is 22.8 uh the Canon or the Nikon D7000 23.5 so the color portrait depth better on the D7000 by a margin there the Canon 1D Mark IV the landscape dynamic range is uh, 12 EVs, so compared to the Nikon D7000, which is 13.9, so a significant lead by the D7000 on dynamic range there so on the sensor, so that's pretty interesting. And uh, the 1D Mark IV, the sports, the low light ISO, they've got it at 1320 ISO as, as the top spot before it starts to degrade. And the uh, Nikon D7000, they've got it at 1157. So the 1D Mark IV is uh, edging out the D7000 by a small margin on the um, high ISO performance but uh, not a whole lot considering the price difference of these cameras. If you look, the manufacturer suggested retail price for the 1D Mark IV was 56, around 5,600 US dollars at the time of this uh, sensor report. Um, it was 1,300 for the Nikon D7000. You can probably buy both for a little bit less, but basically you can have almost five, at least four D7000s for the price of a Canon 1D Mark IV, and yet, the D7000 has better performance according to DxO Mark's sensor review. So, again, some very impressive uh, standings by the D7000, this time up against the Canon 1D Mark IV. So, um, again, I love my Canon, or my, my Canon, my Nikon D7000. Great camera, performs very well. I'm very happy with it. Rugged little beast, uh, image quality is incredible, and good video quality. So for the price, I'd say it's the best value on the market. So uh, feel free to leave your comments. Tell me what you think. If you're a Canon 1D Mark IV shooter and you disagree with the DxO Mark findings, tell me in the comments uh, why. Why do you think uh, they're not they're not uh, correct or why you disagree? Let us know. We can maybe get some discussion going on that. And thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned to Art of the Image. We'll be back soon with some more photography-related news and uh, interesting topics and some video posts for you. Thanks very much.